Welcome back, Guardians, to the Final Fantasy X HD Remaster. I'm Scott, and you're at the Scott Spot Channel. We're standing here in the doorway of the Jose Temple. We're, we've gone inside, and the reason I'm just standing here is because as soon as I step in, it's going to trigger a cutscene. But before we do that, I wanted to mention uh, the first person that you talk to here, before, meeting, or before initiating the cutscene, gets affection points. You can talk to Lulu, Orin, or Kamari. You get two points if it's a guy, four points if it's a girl. However, it's another one of those no response situations, so I can... So you're a champion of Yevon now, Braska? Okay, maybe it's not a uh, no response thing. And Oren's talking about Braska having a statue in here. So you're... I'm guessing Oren's saying that. Well, I can't... I guess telling you why Oren is saying that it would be a little spoilery, but oh well. I beg your pardon, but may I ask your name? I am Summoner Yuna, from the Isle of Besaid. As I thought. The daughter of Lord Braska. You have the look of your father. My father? You knew him? No. I have never met the man. Ah, my apologies. I am Isaru. I am a summoner, like you. I'm Bussy. Pleased to meet you. And I'm Moroda. I'm guarding my big brother here. Since I was a child, I've always looked up to Lord Braska. I wished I would someday become a high summoner like he was. You must have some of your father's talent in you. I believe you might someday defeat Sin. I... I'm not really... I've only just become a summoner. Of course, I've no intention of losing either. So perhaps we should race to see who can defeat Sin first, no? Oh, very well then. I accept your challenge. Isaru! Yuna, I beg your leave. Good luck to both of us. Yes. So I guess Isaru was the summoner that was inside the temple that made the lightning mushroom rock erupt. I guess the rest of our team is headed inside to the uh, Chamber of Faith. But damn, is it just me or was Isaru's face really jarring? Like it looked really bad. He's a semi-important, well I wouldn't say important character, but as far as like NPCs go, he's not unimportant to the story. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, let's see. Poste's over here, can we talk to him? I'm the, I question the wisdom of having someone that young as a guardian, but... Oh, it's so pretty. Don't get shocked, Posse. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so yeah, yeah. Is anybody else still in here? Of interest? Here's Isaru and Moroda. Our itinerary just keeps slipping. We should be climbing the slopes of Mount Gagazet by now. Are you kidding me? That's like almost the end of the journey. I keep telling him, the more time we waste, the farther we'll fall behind the other summoners. I don't get why everybody's so uh, concerned for being the first summoner. I guess the glory that you achieve, but I mean, you're... I don't know. Now we go to Kilika. From there we take the ferry, perhaps as far as Besaid. So they're going the other way. I guess it wouldn't make it makes sense that we wouldn't see them for a while. That's another good point. Uh, they were worried that Donna may have beaten us here, but that would be impossible unless she somehow slipped through the gate. But let's go in here. So we got the wounded crusaders resting inside. My chocobo. Oh, chocobo. Qua qua. Sing again for me. Qua qua. What the fuck? I thought I felt bad for this guy for a second because I thought maybe his chocobo died, but now it just seems like he's daydreaming. What are these people doing? Yevon's blessing has saved many crusaders from sin's onslaught. Yes, they have disobeyed the teachings, but we cannot turn our back on them. Well, that was kind of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about the kid here? Busy, busy. 
Is that all you got to say? I guess so. What about you? The captain saved my life and got hurt. I'm so worthless. Well, I guess the Crusader's ego is pretty bruised at this point. This person's unconscious. Rest in peace. Rest in peace? Are they resting or are they dead? I'm going to have to chalk that up to a translation error. Oh my. We are out of funeral shrouds. That would be bad. But inside this chest is a remedy. Let's so make sure to pick that up. Is this like this lightning thing right here? Is that really necessary? Seems dangerous. Anyway. Oh, there's a treasure chest here that I almost missed too. Contains an ether. Neat. So that was the nun's chamber, so let's head over here into the monk's chamber. I believe there should be something in here too. You are the best, Captain. We'll never forget you. Captain, please, wake up. Is the Captain dead? I guess there's somebody laying in this bed. I guess there's a dead person in the bed. Damn, this is morbid even after the fact. This is the Temple of Yevon at Jose. It is famous for its association with Lord Meehan, founder of the Crusaders. Had he witnessed this dreadful sight? Oh, I could just imagine his grief. Yeah, I don't know that he would like it, especially with the operation being named after him. But I wonder what he had to do with this temple. We're all out of healing potions. Even so, more wounded men are being brought here. I guess you should order more. And inside this chest is a Mega Phoenix, which is basically a Phoenix down that works on the whole party. But you still need one live person to use it, so... Okay, so I think that's enough dilly-dallying around this uh, temple for the time being, so let's uh, head up. Hey, you. Me? You are Yuna's guardian, no? Moroda's heard a curious rumor. I thought you should know. I heard it from those crusaders. Seems that summoners have been going out on pilgrimage and just disappearing. It could just be the fiends got them, but not so many so quickly. Sorry I don't know more, but watch your back. Ain't much future for a guardian without a summoner, eh? What? What? What y'all talking about? We're talking about doing your job as a guardian. Hey, I'm doing good. Right, big brother? Please be careful. Will do. Passe! Oh, what? We're leaving! Be right there! See ya! That kid's cute, huh? What a trio those guys are. Well, I'm glad they warned us, but how many summoners are currently on the road anyway? I mean, not to spoil anything, but the only active ones that we'll, we'll meet are Donna and Isaru, so who knows? The Cloister of Trials lies within. Are you prepared? Why are you asking me? I gotta catch up with the rest of my group. Anything else? Oh, you're just gonna give me the old Yevon salute. Aya Yevon. All right, guardians, at attention. We are ready. All right, let's do it. You're not a guardian, Yuna. Okay, so we got a cloister of trials here, and as you might imagine, we have electric Jose spheres here. This first step is pretty simple. You got two spheres and two recesses on this door. Hmm, I wonder what that can mean. Well, let's find out. So yeah, you're powering like electrical currents and shit with these spheres. And now, the main puzzle. I shall demonstrate. Okay, so you have this symbol of Yevon on the floor, and you have to light up all the different pieces of it. There's also a piece in the middle of this eye, FYI. Okay, this should bring a thing forward. Let's see, what else can we do here? Okay, I'm going to take this Jose Sphere out. It's going to remove that little glyph symbol, but we don't really need it at the time, right now. What we do need to do is insert some Jose Spheres in this wall. 
We can take one from this uh, pedestal too. Let's see what this does. And it supercharged that pedestal somehow. So now what we want to do is take another Jose Sphere out. We're going to lose power to the uh, eye of the Yevon symbol. But that's not a big deal because we'll restore that later. But for now what we want to do is put a Jose Sphere there. I don't think there's any more Jose Spheres for us to take at the time. So you want to push this to the right to where it's directly under the pedestal that we charged with electricity. And you'll see what happens. It becomes like a supercharged Jose Sphere. Uh, let's see, we can't do anything with it now, so what we need to do is step on this switch to bring the pedestal back, and now we can take the supercharged Jose Sphere. And what we want to do with that is put it in this sphere slot that's connected to that door. Apparently the, super, the extra electricity is enough to get that door moved. Excellent. Well now we need to cross here, but as you can see there's a, an electrical current in this pit, so it's like impossible to cross. So how do we cross it? Well, let's try pushing this pedestal over there. Maybe we can create some kind of foothold or something. And it just drops straight into the pit. Well, now we've got a conundrum. How are we going to cross? Let's bring the pedestal back with this switch again. And then we can take these two um, Jose spheres that we put in the wall over here and put them back in the um, pedestal. There's no need to have that pedestal on the ceiling charged anymore and it, it lost its charge anyway when it charged the super sphere. Put it in the pedestal, Titus. Now that there's two Jose Spheres here, we can push this into the pit. And through some kind of science-y stuff I can't pretend to understand, the magnetic charge in the pedestal creates a floating platform that we can use to hop across the pit. Amazing! Jump, Titus. And that gives us another... Well, not, we don't get to keep the Jose Sphere, but we do get to push that pedestal that had one in it in. And the iris of that symbol gets uh, filled in. So now we can hop back and bring the pedestal back. And now the only thing left to do is to just start powering uh, the different pieces of the symbol. We have enough spheres to complete the puzzle. So I'll just come back here. These sphere slots that we initially got the Jose spheres from at the very beginning of the puzzle uh, are the ones that power the wings. So let me go get the other one. This puzzle may seem simple, and it really kind of is, but if you don't know what you're doing, it can you can really get confused here and not really understand what it's wanting you to do. Yeah, just make it look easy, as with everything else. All right. And then that just leaves the uh, eyeball. So I'm going to take... It doesn't matter after you power that door and get... Uh, once you're done in there, it doesn't matter what you do with the uh, supercharged sphere. And the symbol is complete. So the pedestal disappears because we no longer have a need for it. Let's... And it creates a lift that we can take up to the second level. This path actually leads forward, but what we need to do is go back here and push all these pedestals in. So this part isn't really a puzzle so much as it is just push these pedestals in. We've got to power all five of these little spindles on of this chandelier conduit type thing that's above us. One more. And that's all five. And that somehow creates another pedestal and opens the gate to the chain to the antechamber. So yeah, technically we're done with uh, this puzzle now or this thing, but to leave now would be premature because somewhere is we still haven't done the destruction sphere piece. 
So make sure you take care of that. I'm trying to remember what to do to get the Destruction Sphere, though. Let's try... Actually... Hold on, I got another idea. Take this back, Titus. I can't remember what you have to do to trigger the Destruction Sphere, but I'm just going to try a few things. Let's push this. Can we push this? Maybe. Actually, I wonder... Do we still need the... Um, spheres to be powered here? What happens if I take this out? And the lift vanishes. Okay. Let's put that back in then. We don't have any spheres laying around. So what happens if I step on this switch now? That did nothing? Is there anything back here? No. Alright, well in that case I'm at a loss. Why can't I remember what you're supposed to do here? Maybe I should try... Whoa, 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 wait. There's this little light here. A glyph glows in the wall. I didn't even see that before. Well, there's our answer. Destruction Sphere Ho! Alright, and now we can take the slits back up. And as you might imagine, we need to place it in this pedestal. You can see there's a line along the floor that leads straight into a wall. So, we're going to have to destroy the wall. Boom. And that gives us a magic sphere, which we can use to create a magic node. Let's check Lulu's sphere grid and see if she's near an empty node. That would be a negative. But, on her next empty node, whenever that may be, okay, it's going to be when we get down here. We're going to use that magic sphere to make her even stronger magically. But yeah, that's it for the uh, Clistra Trials here, so let's head on up. Not a bad one, but it did trick me for a second. So, the first person you talk to here gets affection points, as usual. Four if it's Lulu, two if it's anybody else. Stop pacing around. Be calm and wait. Damn, Oren. Is that how you feel? You should try to settle down. Yuna will be blamed if anything happens. Well, well, you again. Still traveling with quite the crowd, I see. What is it, Bartello? You know this riffraff? You are... Oren, no? What of it? Can I shake your hand? Arryn. No, Sir Arryn. You're the reason I became a guardian. <laughs> Thank you, sir. This means so much to me. Calling the personal guardian the Lord Braska Riffraff? And you call yourself a summoner? Yeesh. Bartello, enough! Get back here! Hang in there, buddy! Eh? <laughs> well, <laughs> Donna just got told. <laughs> Hashtag wrecked. Hashtag Tyrannosaurus wrecked. <laughs> I love that. And Lulu was like, And you call yourself a summoner? <laughs> oh man, I love it. You should try to settle down. You know Yeah, you, you said that. What do you got to say, Kamari? Pick spot. Shut up. Wait. Ah! <laughs> well, tell us how you really feel, Kamari. Man, everybody's got stone cold in here. Is it, are we like in it? Oh yeah, this is the top, so we're like all surrounded by rocks and stuff. Quite the show, yeah? Not so good on the heart, though. <laughs> I like how Titus was like trying to feel for uh, Bartello there. I swear, I'll never wash this hand again. Please, touch me with that hand and I'll remove it. 
Damn, Donna. You ever gonna stop being a big old bitch? How much longer? She showed us taking her sweet time. Hmm. I'm, I'm trying not to smack a bitch. I met Sir Arryn. The Sir Arryn. Oh man, he must have been one of your biggest inspirations. But anyway, to move things forward, you should try to leave. I like this version of the hymn. You owe much to your father. All these guardians. And Sir Oren too? And I hear Maester Seymour is quite taken with you. The world must look different when you're the daughter of Lord Braska. This has nothing to do with my father. I am traveling on my own, as a full-fledged summoner. Oh, is that so? Then try standing on your own two legs for once. Your guardians won't be able to protect you when the time comes. Wow. Damn, Donna, you really gotta be that way, like, all the time? Man, I guess she just had to get the last word in. Oh, but, yeah, so here's our new Aeon. It's an Aeon of Lightning, as you might have guessed. Uh, its name is Ixion, and I believe at the time of this release, Ixion was a new summon. Although it might have appeared as a monster or something before that point. But, I think this is also going to be a good stopping point for this video. In the next, uh, so click the subscribe button if you want to see more where this came from. Or follow me on Twitter at the ScottSpot. Or do both. But yes, uh, thanks for watching guys. We'll wake up in the morning and then depart and continue on our pilgrimage. Our next destination is the temple in Makalania, but it will be quite a while before we ever get there. Thanks again, and join me for more Final Fantasy X HD Remaster at the Scott Spot next time.